Uh, I was gonna say, this is not what brushing your teeth should sound like. No, that's what I was gonna say. It sounds like you're cutting fucking into your teeth. Ugh, what the fuck? All right, what's up, everybody? We are on season two, episode eight of Classroom of the Elite, which is called The Wound is at a Heart. Yeah, so last week was an interesting, or last episode, I should say, was an interesting um, exploration, I guess, of Ayurakoji's sexuality, right? Lack thereof, I guess you could say, rather, but <laughs> it looks like he's, he's gonna have, you know, multiple girls chasing him already. I mean, we had Sakura, of course, I can't forget about her, but now it's become Kuroiswa as well, and this new girl, Sato, or whatever she's called, who, um, I mean, I guess she's been part of their class the entire time, and I just kind of glanced over her, right? That's the thing. They have a class of, I'm pretty sure, about like 30 people or something in total, right? It's a pretty big one. Um, and not all of them can get the spotlight from the start. So I'm pretty sure we've just had a select focus on a few of them, um, you know, from the start of the show. And we're gradually sort of expanding that more and more, right? We're seeing now that, for example, Hirata seems to be hardly playing much of a role in recent episodes anymore. Because now Kuroizu was on... Um, yeah, Aino Koji's side, I guess you could say, right? But she's feeling some type of way with Aino Koji, um, having made that agreement with her, right? And now it's kind of leading to her developing feelings clearly, right? And like I said, there is this Sato girl who I I didn't catch that uh, in the last episode at the very end is when they... So here's the thing, right? We're going to get this paper shuffle coming up. That's what it's called, the next test or whatever you want to call it. But leading up to that was this other mini test um where you know like like we already established this and we've done this right we've made sure that um um we've started sort of matching up the people with the best intellect and those with the lowest intellect or whatever right or we kind of purposefully i guess made those with the lowest intellect well i don't know how we did it exactly but we you know we tried to even level uh the playing field and you know get the smart kids paired up with the less smart kids and um therefore now make an even sort of uh make even pairings you could say right so that none of them will really fall out and we won't get uh yeah actual pairs sort of leaving the school by the end of the uh, uh the paper shuffle test because that's what what was mentioned right is that oh a couple of pairs usually don't make it through the paper shuffle but we're trying to prevent that anyway what was i getting at i've literally uh, forgotten already but <laughs> um that's the thing. Aino Koji actually matched up with Sato. And I guess that's not something he had actually foreseen, judging by his reaction. He wasn't exactly feeling that great about it. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, I don't know what's going to come of it, to be fair. I like the drama going on, though. So I'll be just looking forward to seeing where we go. A couple other things to still mention, right? I still don't understand what it was about that Horikita's brother stopped being one of the, or the president, I guess you, you should say, right? I feel like that's something, once again, that's like, um, how should I say, like, we're gonna, we're gonna still be um, getting more information later on, leading up to what happened with that event. You get what I'm saying? I feel like later on, we're gonna learn what that was about. Maybe Aina Koji planned it with him or something like that, or I don't know if he even really could, but obviously they talked about, that's the thing, they talked about using the president as collateral right for Horikita because I mean you know like Kushida did Kushida brought him up and said like oh I can ruin your lives uh you know through him I guess you could say right and so I think that's gotta be what it has to do with but I'm just still trying to make the connections in my head right now as far as what actually truly happened there and you know like who was in on it I guess I feel like I mean I don't know you know even Aino Koji that's the thing Aino Koji wow it happened yeah no I mean I'm thinking about it now, but like in that scene when he resigned, Aino Koji looked at Horikita and said, normally she'd have been inconsolable or something like that, right? Which I guess kind of spells out to us that both Horikita and Aino Koji might be in on it. Because Aino Koji, you know, he's just kind of thinking that through and he's like, he's not feeling some kind of way about it really. He's just saying, you know, what's on his mind. Horikita is clearly not feeling some kind of way when this kind of should have come out of nowhere to her too. So they both, planned this clearly right like they're both they both um maybe discussed this with him or something like that but i don't know i mean i don't feel like horikita's brother would be one to go along with their plans yet because they they aren't on really you know even terms whatsoever like he's uh, i don't know i mean aino koji 
he did obviously battle him in that um, that relay match. So I feel like, you know, like like they've had conversations. That must be what is going on then, right? But um, who is to say? Yeah, so last thing to quickly touch on is that we are learning that Kushida has quite the menacing backstory uh, back in her old high school where there was a certain student who, which is obviously her, who somehow caused the whole class to tear apart that was mentioned. Even the imagery that they showed there, right? Like the class just looking all empty and destroyed actually and then just this one person in the middle there with a grin on her face i mean it's clearly kushida right but even there like uh, they could pull a twist i guess right but i would i would suspect it's kushida because who else could it be and um yeah it, it's so obvious that kushida would be the one i guess but um she's a immediate danger and so we're gonna have to work her out and that's definitely something that i kind of foresee the the second half of this season diving into and I don't know, though. like, I genuinely wonder by the end of this season what the status quo is going to look like, or the, the current status, I guess you, you should say, right? Is like, is Kushida actually going to be worked out? Or what would that look like? You know, it's that's the thing. I don't necessarily want her not to be a part of the show anymore either, because she's a fascinating character. But simultaneously, I don't see how we proceed with her still there you get what i'm saying she's always going to have that vendetta she's always going to be destined to uh get her yeah sort of well it's not it's not even necessarily revenge i mean it kind of is but you know she's always going to be jealous of Horikata, i guess so where do we go guys that is the big question but for now let's just dive into episode eight of classroom of the elite season two of course if you enjoy my reactions to the show, you can get early access to the next 12 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. Over there, you can also check out my full-length reactions, um, and you can sign up as a free member and watch the next two episodes already as well. So I hope to see you there. But for now, guys, let's dive into Season 2, Episode 8 of Classroom of the Elite. Back to it, huh? It's not my fault. What's everyone so mad at me for? Oh, interesting. Is Kushida saying that? I'm guessing it is her, right? She looks like her. All I did was tell the truth. Damn. Their fault for rejecting me. That's how she just justifies it for herself, huh? Oh. Yeah, we don't want that though, uh, Kushida. You don't need to be overseeing us, goddammit. I didn't know they needed to have people overseeing them. Kushida doing both, great. Okay, so that's Sato on the left, right? Left, right. Eh. Uh, hi, partner. Miyake-kun and Hasebe-san. Hmm. Can we still make last-minute changes? Because Ainokoji is looking for a different uh, person. Oh shit, another potential teacher. Yukimura, yeah. You're <laughs> Unity says Ayanokoji. That's not going to change who he is going to be paired up with, though, right? Sakura? Okay. Not the character I'd expect to be seeing now, but. <laughs> oh, you can feel the resistance he felt while saying that. Invisible. Yeah, that's that's the whole point. 
この間のリレーすごかっただろう。True. その話だが、体育祭みたいな隠し事はなしだぞ。え勉強の方だ。Don't ask him to hide anything. But do not hide anything, rather. 詳細を詰めておく。OK。文系問題をいくつか作ってみた。Does I and Koji have weak subjects? そこをなんとかしろっつってんだよ。何あれ、oh. おい、よそ見してる暇はないぞ。Having a fight with the lady just selling some fucking cake? そうう really? そろそろ誕生日か Almost my birthday. Oh shit. Man, class C is just full of bullies, isn't it? ある意味見事だな。ミスの傾向まで同じだ。教えるべき人数は<笑><笑> Right, same weaknesses, same strengths. So, like, that's the thing. Class C is full of bullies, and they're not exactly the smartest, but they're not stupid either. Like, it makes sense that they're above Class D still, I feel. Although it's probably mostly Ryu and just leading them. <笑>どうだったとは特に変わりはなかったのかできる範囲で手伝ってもらえたわ。オッケー。対シークラスの問題作りには、串田は関わっていないんで。I mean, Because in that case, she can target Orikita, but. Okay. Rewin, mastermind. Oh, he is the mastermind. Who are you? He got a text from Rewin? That says, Who are you? So somebody passed his phone number or what? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><
一つで勝負しましょう自由に科目を選んで構わないわそれただの口約束だけになる可能性もあるんじゃないかな I, I was gonna say I don't see her I don't see her letting go of that though A reliable witness Oh, we're gonna start involving a third party, I guess, huh? Wow, really? That's what we're... That's what we're using him for? That's crazy, dude. That is that why he resigned? Maybe it was like temporary, to be fair, just for this. Oh, yeah. He has no personal ties to Arikata, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, you can say what you want, but he doesn't have a bias. That's for sure. Oh, man. Just the way the mouth changed. Got a joke or smile. Fair enough. But, I mean, we already know what the outcome of this is going to be. Like, Horikita is going to win this. Be prepared for the consequences. What, do we have some torture room prepared at the school, or...? Oh. Oh, shit. How did she know this? Is she, was she just bluffing and guessing? That's crazy. Well, we don't have our witness now. Uh, we can only agree to that if you actually leave the school yourself. Wow. How is he accepting? She already she already accepted though. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, then we're gonna know the full truth. Damn. That's even worse, though. ハハハ。Using that honor. Turning it back towards him. That's fair enough. Like, if she would already know the truth, which Kushida thinks, she could just tell Aino Koji. So technically, she's not losing anything. No, I, honestly, I don't. This is the same fucking spot. <laughs> I was going to say that he raped her, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. You do something better than Oros? Isn't it just the best? Yeah, Aina Koji likes that feeling. People would lavish me with praise over the smallest accomplishments. If I got the best grade on a test, placed first in a race, I'd be the center of attention. Yeah, I know how you roll. Kawaii. Yeah, Ainokoji usually leaves them to Arikita. Desire for recognition. I don't like these kinds of people. This is the complete opposite as I am. Even if I'm a YouTuber, I don't like attention necessarily. Really? You caused the whole fucking uproar and killed your whole class or something for attention? Oh, okay. Tutoring for now. <laughs> the way they're doing this with like a projector and stuff, I love it. 
It was bliss. She was in heaven. It is. That's the thing. It was kind of always too good to be true, I guess, right? Seeing her behave like that from the start. Uh, I was going to say, this is not what brushing your teeth should sound like. I guess it does. <laughs> no, that's what I was going to say. It sounds like you're cutting fucking into your teeth. Ugh, what the fuck? How does she manage that? Oh, uh, that hair is going to come off or something now. Ooh, man. I don't know if I'm really able to stand any of this. What outlet? Some online forum? Oh, a blog. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny how that works. You always got to let it go in some way. Oh, they found out the truth. Damn, dude. That's crazy. What did she do with them, though? Well, she didn't kill him. She, she couldn't have actually killed them because then Horikata would have known about that, right? The fact that Horikata knows so vaguely about it should tell me that uh, unless they covered it up. Used my weapon. And what's that? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, so she knew a lot herself, too, huh? <laughs> Damn. Clown face. Oh, she calls the whole... I see. Interestingly enough, it's not even necessarily something of her own doing. She... Oh, wow. She turned the whole fucking class against itself. That's awesome, actually. <laughs> I, I mean, I like that... Twist. But I could do the same thing. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. But does she find this out through means of also checking out blogs, or... Is she just getting it directly from the students? Because they all like her so much. I think that's probably what it is, right? But I think she mentioned something about also seeing it on the internet, so... Yeah, okay, see it is, like, directly, yeah. Yep, yeah, you, you've got leverage over them at that point. Dude, she truly is a fucking monster. Yeah, they will, don't worry, but they're not losing. Oh man, this is getting fucking awesome. Ah, oh, love it. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course you can get early access to the next 12 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member, watch the next two episodes right now. So, I'll see you there.